Warning, this video contains explicit language, scripts of characters making threats and censored violence. This video is only intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. This just in. The battle begins between Master Rain and his fellow crew, including Professor Demon, Mr. Dirty Hands, and the Ten Stick Figures. And some other stick figure you guys have never seen in the whole Master Rainy series. Wait till you see his allies. See if anyone is clearly recognized. Hmm. I've been thinking of something that should be a trend on the, to the Master Rainy channel. It's been a while since I uploaded a video on my channel. Think of it, Master Rainy. There's numerous different topics to choose from. You could do your research to find something very interesting. I think I have suggested a topic about the origin of the Karen meme, you know, where the whole entitled Karen concept came from. Not a bad idea. That's going to be the topic for the next video. I will get on my research. What in the blue blazes is that? Who in the bloody blue blazes are you barging into here? Why hello, steroid taking fuck face. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Master Vengeance. I'm going to be the most hostile entity to you and your two dorky friends, Satan and Stinky. Hey, I'm not Satan. The name is Professor Demon. That's just how I was made, you anus hole. Yeah, you fiend. I'm not stinky. My name is Mr. Dirty Hands. My hands can't be washed due to sensitivity, you lowlife. Lowlife? Ha. Try harder than that, you stinky peasant. I bet you're too poor to wash your grubby hands because you can't afford to pay water bills or to purchase any hand soap. Oh, bite me. I'm not poor, you asshole. It's a condition, dickhead. Yeah, his hands are gonna be dirty for life. One reason he's named Mr. Dirty Hands. He can't wash his hands, because if he does, then his hands will start rashing and swelling due to the sensitivity. Seriously, Master Vengeance, what in the bloody hell is wrong with you? I'll be quiet, satanic human being. I bet that you are related to Satan the Devil, which is why you have no friends. I have no relations with the devil, you idiot! I have made a few friends, dumbass! Also, you're being very ironic. I mean, look at yourself! You also look so demonic, so you are truly demonic by invading this place and harassing us! Yeah, you fuddly Satan! Why don't you just piss off until the Earth explodes into space dust, you flux in a set of hill of pillification? Did I just hear you tell someone to leave until the Earth explodes? Why, yes, Miss Teacher. I was telling this demonic stickman because he came here harassing us and said a lot of nasty things to us. Yeah! He's also being hypocritical, shaming me for my devilish appearance, yet he also looks like a devil. So it's clear he's the Satan. And he's also been talking shit about my hands and called me poor, claiming I can't afford to wash my hands. Well, young man, I'm very disappointed in you, coming up to my three friends and harassing them for the most insane purposes. What kind of entity are you anyway? Are you supposed to be some kind of teacher? You hardly have any lessons planned and you have no class. Well, Miss Bitch, I'd like to see you try to give me a detention. How rude of you, Master Vengeance. The detention I will give you will be pure torture for you. Just you wait. What are you going to do? Give me a ton of complicated homework? I just burn it all up and waste all of your papers. I'll gladly cause global paper shortage. I don't give homework. The detention you're getting is a huge face-off with nine of the other stick figures, which some of them may defeat you very easily. Bring it on. Who are you? Is this Satan? Actually, Stick Cretan. My name is Master Vengeance. I'm here to torture all of you fuckers. While you are Satan, I bet you're Satan's twin brother. I'm not Satan's twin brother, dumbass. I'm a stick figure, like you. Well, okay, if you say so. Now prepare for your doom fuckers. Hey! Remember me, Master Rainy? Ah, shit! It's Timothy from the cubicle office! Yeah, and you should remember me, too! And me! And also me. Oh, damn, it's Derek, Gene, and Max! You ruined my life, you fat bastard. 
You must be so proud of yourself getting me fired from my job and thrown in jail for hijacking my computer from 22 years ago, emailing a nasty, violent threat at my co-worker under my email account and deceiving him into believing that he's being targeted by your so-called Navy SEALs. You should have been thrown behind bars instead of me and spent five years in the slammer. You barged into my computer room over 24 years ago, crashing in and getting me and my wife divorced. You should have damn well known my wife cared a lot about that computer and I couldn't afford to replace it. Thanks a lot, asshole, for ruining my marriage and my life. You broke into my office over 27 years ago, talking shit about my boss and insulting them, framing me for it to get me fired. That boss of mine was a gobble jerk not caring about investigating the truth and firing people for what he believed to have happened. I spent 23 years looking for your guilty ass after making me lose my job because of your horrible shenanigan. Then you ran off as I was about to seek my revenge on you. And you, asshole, got my business shut down by the FBI because of your crazy shenanigan you pulled 37 years ago. You got my customer deceived with your false advertising and got me accused. You should have been the one with civil lawsuit filed against you, not me. You're quite the culprit! I recruited your paradox victims to exact their revenge on you for what you did to them. So face it Master Rainey, your time traveling paradox has got you into this situation. Oh, so now you want to start drama? Oh, just you wait until the stick figures show you who's boss! Ha ha. Your stick figures won't do shit. Who is this? Is this Satan? No I'm not Satan. I'm Master Vengeance. Whatever Satan, one day you'll burn in hell and drink pee. <laughs> I told you I'm not Satan dumbass. Goddamn. Are you a retard? LOL. You just took the Lord's name in vain. Proves that you are Satan. Look in the mirror to see a stick devil Satan. I am not Satan. Why are you being so stupid? Because you are Satan. The fact that you shamed Professor Demon for looking like Satan made you a living contradiction. He's not wrong. You are so ironic talking shit about my friend like that, yet you also look so demonic. I'll be quiet steroid taker. Yeah, you're just probably jealous that he can rip off your balls and shove them down your throat, making you choke on your own balls. <laughs> you think he's tough, huh? Well, he's deserving a face-off with his paradox enemies. That's right. What Master Rainy did to me for the past 27 years back in the cubicle office, he deserves serious payback. Geez, no wonder why you look so dirty and have scurvy teeth. Makes you look so laughable because you wasted 27 years searching for Master Rainy to attempt revenge. <laughs> hey, not funny. You think this is a laughing matter? Yes, it is you scurvy dirty man. Wasting 27 years attempting revenge on Master Rainy made it your fault, Smelly. <laughs> oh wow, you are just as bad as an annoying orange stickman. You two are just as bad as Master Rainy provoking my new friend for how he appears. Oh please be quiet, you Smelly Wispend. It's funny that your wife hates you now because of what Master Rainy did to your computer. <laughs> that is not funny! Why are you siding with Master Rainy? He has inadvertently damaged four of our lives. You got my wife to hate me because she was so obsessed with that fucking computer, you cheeky piece of shit. Hey now, don't talk to cheeks like that. I'll assure you that Master Rainy did the right thing by wrecking your marriage, Dick. My name is not Dick. It's Derek. Whatever, Dick. Your last name must be Sucker, so you must be known to be Dick Sucker. Hey, stop with these sex jokes! My name is not Dick Sucker! It's Derek and I will not tell you my goddamn last name, you asswipes! Yeah, me neither. Me neither! And me neither. Okay, sir deserves to become an ex-husband. I did not deserve it! It was Master Rainy's fault! Yeah, you deserved it for being a parsimonious peasant. <laughs> Yeah, and Master Rainy did the right thing, wrecking your marriage and letting that woman find a rich man to marry. I may have been poor, but God, Master Rainy took advantage of me being so poor. He took advantage of my wife's dislike for me being poor and intentionally wrecked our marriage.
He also wrecked my business. He got my computer store shut down for absolutely no legitimate reason. He even annoyed me with his German lines of the past 37 years. Oh, so you mean this. Ich denke, Sie haben es verdient, Ihr Geschäft zu verlieren, weil Sie wahrscheinlich Ihre Computerpreise in die Höhe getrieben haben. Gut gesagt. Hey, speak English! I don't understand your language! Почему бы вам не попытаться заставить меня, сэр крошечный мозг? I mean it! Meine Nuta Sella Parast, loser! Oh, come on now! You're speaking Estonian? You and that green control freak are polyglottic poindexters! <laughs> polyglottic poindexters? Most nonsensical misinformation to ever come out of an ex-businessman's mouth! Ex-businessman? It's your own fault that I am one! You invaded my store and did something illegal! Yeah, and that bad customer was blaming it all on you! So, ben meritato! What in the blue blazes is that even supposed to mean? That means well-deserved in Italian, guy who lost his business. That was Master Rainey's fault for making me lose my store! Master Rainey is also at fault for my criminal record. So what did they throw you in jail for, being stupid? <laughs> no asshole. Master Rainey sent a threatening email to a co-worker, hijacking my computer back in 2000 and getting me framed and blamed. It's Master Rainey's fault that I had to serve five years behind bars. Master Rainey sure did the right thing, thuggy criminal. You were so annoying to your fellow co-worker, Andrew. So he did the right thing and got you in the slammer. So good luck with your hard life, criminal. <laughs> I am not the real criminal. Master Rainey is. He ruined my criminal background, you cheeky asshole. Don't talk to cheeks like that criminal scum. I gotta say, if something happens to be funny, it's seeing you stuck on the electric chair. <laughs> wow, violent jokes coming from that annoying orange stick man. No worries, Max. He's based off of the annoying orange. Master Nod is not based off of the annoying orange. He's got a sense of humor, while you look like shit Lucifer. <laughs> hey hey hey. I told that annoying orange stick man and that dumbass red stick man that I'm not Satan. Are you three retards? No. In fact, we are the superior ones, while you're just a major fraction as intelligent as an infant. <laughs> Couldn't agree more cheeks. Stick Satan doesn't know shit. Speaking of shit, he slurps on fresh horse stools like noodles and it's extremely hilarious when he gags so hard on them regardless of how hard he gags on the fresh horse shit. You have no idea of what I have for my meals, orange asshole. Guys, calm down. Show love to each other, not hate. This is a battle. This is war between two alliances. I highly doubt that there will be any truce. What Master Rainey said, there'll probably never be any truce during this battle. Ha ha. Cry about it, big cry, baby. Hey! Don't you talk to Pessimistic like that! He's pessimistic, but he does not deserve that kind of filthy talk coming out of your fugly mouth. God damn, you're such a swine. I'll be quiet, you paradox criminal. I'll let you in on a secret. While you were talking about 20 infamous people, plus five more, I interfered in the project commission jotting down the dishonorable mentions and got you put on there. <gasps> dishonorable mention number five. What the fuck? Master Rainy? What? You did what, fucker? You are the one responsible for having me on the dishonorable mentions list on my 20th video? You demonic swine! I will one day rip out your fucking jaw and yank your horns and throw them to the fucking ground! You are clearly deserving to die for this! So now you're threatening to kill me? Shows that you're pure evil. I'll have you know demonic stick figure that Master Rainey has changed over the years. Sure he may have been a paradox hooligan, but he has turned his life around. Who gives a bloody shit? The past is history. All history. Ah, oh, so you don't accept the fact that people change? 
Well, guess what? You are gonna pay for what you did to me for the past three fucking years! I have a special message for you, you demonic swine! Is this a unicorn? No, Pegacorn. It's that demonic stick figure who got me put on the dishonorable mentions list of the 20 infamous people in history when I did a video about it. Oh, no unicorns? Well, shucks. Please let me know if you see one. Well, I'm sure we'll come across one one day. What in the blue blazes are we fighting about? You see this, Sir Pixelot? He went up harassing me, Professor Demon and Mr. Dirty Hands, shaming my two friends for their appearances, and then started talking shit to some of you stick figures. Well, what do we have here? A skinny Slim Jim? You sure don't eat much. Now that doesn't sound like a comeback. Whatever you say, midget. <laughs> That's not a comeback either. Oh, I can assure you that one day, I will force feed you vegetables. <laughs> what? You wouldn't do such a thing, psychopath. They make me sick. It's hilarious that you're such a picky eater. That's enough! Now, you demonic swine, I will not stand for this, but you clearly asked for it. For making me dishonored by the Project Commission from the past 40 videos on the Master Rainy channel, I'm going to use these python arms to beat your ass and rip out your fucking eyes! Oh, I'd like to see you try Steroid Taker. You ruined four lives, so now you face the consequence. Yeah, Master Rainy, you got me fired, you face the consequence! You wrecking my marriage will also lead to our revenge! You will get my store back or else! The court is going to hear about your action from 2000, getting me blamed. Oh shut the fuck up you five excuses of existing entities. What the? What did you just call us? I said that you five are horrible excuses of existing entities. I don't think any of you deserve your existence. Shut it asshole, we are entitled to exist. Now please fuck off so we can exact our revenge on this paradox criminal who got me fired. Master Rainey did the right thing, retard. You were a horrible excuse of a cubicle employee back in 1995, you stupid idiot. Now please, hop back on your pirate ship and never show your face in society. I take offense to that! I am not a damn pirate! You look like one ex-cubicle employee. That gray-headed retard with rats in his pocket did an awesome job firing you, which you clearly deserve, dirty man. You got me fired, you pay the price. I spent 23 years straight seeking revenge on your deceptive ass, but then you ran away. You made me spend another four years searching for you. Yeah, right. You wasted a sum of 27 years attempting your revenge on me because I insulted your boss. Now go take a shower and don't come out until you smell perfectly clean, smelly. Yeah, smelly pirate. Extract these teeth. Waste the rest of your life in your bathtub, and never show your face again, you excuse of a human being. Hey! Don't you talk to Timothy like that, you asshole! Timothy did not deserve that horrible remark said against him. What the fuck are you? Be the fuck quiet demonic, stick Satan, and you horrible old prune. I hope you're talking about Professor Demon. I'm talking about you Master Vengeance, you complete dumbass. Professor Demon is not my cup of tea because of his demonic appearance, but look at your excuse of a self. You look much worse than him. You deserve to burn in hell you ugly buffoon. What did you say about me? You are such an asshole you pink asshole. Why would you talk about me like that? Because what I said is dead true. You don't deserve to exist you excuse of a stick figure. The best day of my life will be when you die in a fiery accident. Wow you just shit in my Cheerios. Fuck you all. I'll start my channel to get vengeful on all of you. The 13 of you shall wait and see how vengeful I will get in the future. Say all you want shithead. Now eat the shit in your Cheerios you pathetic excuse of a stick figure who should drown in a pool of lava. Wow, I gotta say, madam, you really defeated loving shit out of that demonic swine. Yeah, I know, that demonic swine who attempted to sabotage your career on your channel is getting what he deserved. In fact, He's gonna start his own channel and talk more shit about the 13 of us. Relax, sir. I will do what I can do to cause this demonic swine's downfall. Well, can't wait for his downfall.
best wishes to sabotage his career. We're a team. We're going to stand strong together to totally damage that demonic freak who caused you to be on the dishonorable mentions list. On the top 20 most infamous people, simply by interfering with the project commission. And did you just call me an old prune? Oh, excuse me, old prune? Did Madmum and I invite you to our conversation? No. So fuck off and let us carry on. Oh, how fucking dare you, Master Rady! How fucking dare you call me that name that your disrespectful pig stick figure called me! Shut it, dumbass. You know that your parents find you a mistake of an offspring. Alright, that was just play hurtful to say! Well, duh. Do I look like I care? Fuck no. Now do us a solid, jump off a cliff, and never return to this earth. Because this earth wasn't meant for you to live on you excuse of a human being. Are you threatening me? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck is wrong with you, other than the fact that you don't deserve to live on earth? Do you want me to beat you up? I'd like to see you try, Derek, but you'll fail epically. Quiet, you paradox hooligan! I wasn't talking to you! Who gives a shit? Your wife hated you anyway. I got her to live a much better life married to a much better man for her than that fugly peasant like yourself. You ruined my life! You crashed my computer! Got me abruptly divorced because I couldn't afford to replace that damn computer. In fact, you excuse of a person, you, the problem you caused with my computer was impossible to solve. I hope one day that you get a bomb dropped on you that your torso detonates all over the world. Bitch, don't you talk to Master Rainy like that. He has a point. You were a terrible, pathetic excuse of a husband. Marrying that Karen who was too obsessed with economic backgrounds. Stop with that Karen shit! This whole Karen meme is completely idiotic! I don't want your opinion, you old puny numbskull. Besides, you never deserved to be married, you never deserved your parents, and you never deserved to live a life, you puny shitbag. Okay, now you're getting on my case! You're getting on our case, old bitch! You're so hypocritical, going uptight on Madman for telling you to jump off a cliff, yet you hope for a bomb to be dropped on me! Total hypocrisy. Yeah, you disgraceful human being. You have no way of being allowed to live on this planet, you filthy prune. You know what? Fuck the both of you. Fuck all 13 of you. Most of all, fuck you, Master Reddy, for wrecking my marriage in 1998 and ruining my fucking life. I'm out of here. Yeah, good riddance. Yeah, and Timothy, you smell awful. Go shower or go die. Your choice. How could you shame me? You've really done it this time. I'm getting my revenge on you, pig stick figure, as well as my revenge on Master Rainy. Yeah, right. Good luck with that, smelly pirate. <laughs> he sure is a pirate. Look at his ugly teeth. Yeah, he doesn't belong on land. He belongs on a pirate ship. <laughs> well said, Master Knotted Cheeks. He's never brushed his teeth because he wasted 27 years seeking revenge on me. Many wonders how he still has a few teeth left after 27 years without brushing them. That's none of your business! Okay, pirate. Have at it wasting the rest of your life seeking revenge on Master Rainy. Sure you won't make it to that time, though. I'm having my revenge on you too, you naughty orange stick figure! You and that blue stick lady have been provoking me the past several minutes, and I think that I'm also having revenge on your naughty best friend! Good luck, smelly failure. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Timothy. No one cares about what you have to say. Just wash your body in a fucking car wash, then leave this planet, because much like Derek and Master Vengeance, you also don't deserve to live on Earth. Hey! I can live on the planet if I want to! No, you can't, stupid. What makes my day is if you get abducted by aliens, that way we won't have to see your scurvy ass on this Earth anymore. You living on this Earth is why the Earth has been getting sick. Fuck all of you! I'm leaving, but this won't be over until I have my revenge on you! Just you all wait! 
Good luck, life waster. Now go take a six hour shower for fuck's sake, you smelly filth. Wasted nearly three decades seeking revenge on me just wasn't worth your time anyway. Whoa, what the fuck is wrong with your pig stick figure, asswipe? How could you destroy three of my new friends like this? Get the fuck off Earth, you excuse of a human being. No one wants to hear your puny lips move. What did you say to me? You heard me, loud and clear. You don't deserve to live on Earth. Much like you never even deserved to own a computer store in the first place. Yeah. Getting your store shut down by the deceived customer was well worth it, squeaker. That was your fault, asshole! You were the culprit of false advertising one of my computers to a customer back in 1985! You got my store shut down, asshole! You did all this! Who cares, Gene the unemployed bitch? Just fuck off and get off this damn earth. Never! You will never make me! Do you want me to provoke you again with multiple languages? Don't you fucking dare! Get on fick dick! What did you say? Do hard to me, fun! Speak English! Nyat to me osh! I said speak English! No tengo ganas, perra! I'm about to kick your ass! I'd like to see you try, puny ass. I did not ask for your input! Don't make me get multi-speak to puzzle the hell out of you. Sure he'll assist Master Rainy in defeating you in this combat. Point the chin, kunach! How about you speak English or die? Hey, you don't talk to Master Rainy that way. I can talk to whoever the hell I want the way I want! Beetle me, T. I mean it! I meet a Kunagi. That does it! I'm not gonna bother wasting any time with any of you assholes anymore! Fuck all of you! I'm out! Phew, good red's beauty store owner. Wow, Master Rainy, I'm impressed that you got Gene defeated. That was totally impressive. Tell you this, Gene was pretty much immune to disrespectful comments, unlike Master Vengeance, Timothy, and Derek, which these three are like snowflakes. So there was one solution to defeating that puny store owner. That was annoying him with multiple languages, especially without the help of multispeak, even though I'm not as polylingual as multispeak, but still, that was well worth it. In fact, I wouldn't think that Multispeak would want to provoke people. If anyone were to provoke people, it'd be Master Not or Cheeks. But Gene would have kept on going because he has full audacity to keep up conversational fights, as long as it's only in English. So verbally fighting him with speaking foreign languages solved the problem to get him defeated. I gotta say Master Rainy, that was very impressive. Penetrating Gene for me was worth it. And I think we have one person left, and that's the thug who wants to kill me. You got that right, you deceiving bastard. I am here to take my anger out on you, deceiving fiend. You ruined my criminal background and also ruined my life. Not to mention, anus hole, you also ruined my social life. What in the blue blazes do you think you're doing, bastard? Oh shut the fuck up Max, and get yourself executed. You know you deserve to die for your crimes. Hey, I wasn't talking to you slutty asshole, I was talking to the one who damaged my life along with Timothy's, Derek's, and Jean's. So now Master Rainy, you're going to pay the price, I'm going to rain my fury all over you asshole, which is something you'll drown in, yeah, I'm going to kill you with my bare hands for getting me sentenced to prison for something you did devious hooligan. Bring it on, bitch! Uh... Master Rainy, you may want to back up, he really wants to kill you. I got this. I got muscles, he's got charges. So we should be in good hands. Oh think again, I'm much, much stronger than you think. I am aggressive enough that I can even put bodybuilders in the hospital. In fact, even you can't penetrate me very well. Even you, Master Rainy, are prone to my penetration. If you don't believe me, then let me tell you an amazing backstory. Due to you altering the past, I have been very skilled at exercising my muscles. I got really good python arms, I participated in physical fights, many of them were tough bodybuilders, I fought them, I killed them, and I have gotten many, many of them sent to the hospital, I am the tiger here, the biggest tiger here, much more physically aggressive than you are, against me, you are weak, and allow me to bring this up, fuck wagon, I even easily penetrated a prisoner named Charles Brunson in my time upon release. So if you're not sure, audience, in the Master Rainy universe, 
Charles Brunson is dead, so now believe me. I can and I will kill you. Yeah, right, fourth wall breaker. I have the benefit of the doubt. Master Rainey, please look up the prisoner Charles Bronson. I don't think that Max is lying. Well, Googling the prisoner and... Aniga Shiza! He is dead! Even numerous sources say that he died in the hands of a guy named Max, a former cubicle officer who spent five years in prison for emailing a threat to a co-worker. Well, shit. I am totally screwed. Gah. Now you see, you are nothing but toast now, so now I want you to say your last words. As part of my revenge, you are going to die and be cannibalized. Ready? Not really. Too bad. I'm going to kill you with my bare hands in five, four, three, two. Hold it. Did you say Charles Bronson the prisoner died in your hands? Yes, I did. Why are you in my way? Move out of my way so I can kill your friend. Well, sir, Charles Bronson is still alive. There's proof on Google, see? For fuck's sake, Red Stick Man, that's the wrong Charles Brunson, you must be a dumbass. Now if you excuse me, move out of my way so I can kill Master Rainey, he deserves to die for what he did back in 2000 that wrecked my life. Guess man, please stay away from that evil man, he might kill you too. Charles Bronson is a live dumbass. Are you blind? No I'm not, and what are you doing with that? Oh this? Well I'm about to use this laser device to change your views, due to you denying that Charles Bronson is alive. Guessman, I don't think magic hypnotizing devices exist. Is that what I think you're holding? Put that down, I swear I will kill you next. Ready to believe me? Why are you pointing that at me? Ready or not, here it comes, three, two, one. Guessman, you just saved me. Thank you so very much. I didn't think I was going to survive. Wait, did I just? Yes, guess man, you saved us. I didn't think you'd be this heroic. So I should have no regrets then. Exactly. Even though you are basically wrong opinioned, thinking that hypnotizing my control devices exist and using that as one. Oh, news trend. <clears throat> Max the criminal has been detained and totally penetrated by a talking red stick figure. Well, guessman? They see you as a hero. Congratulations to Magnum, Master Rainy, and Yesman for their hard work in defeating five villains, which one of them is deceased. Couldn't be any more thankful for these three for their bravery and audacity. Congratulations, Congratulations Magnum, Magnum, for, for defeating, defeating Timothy, Derek, Derek, and most, most of all, Master Vengeance, with snarky and, and tactical comebacks. Congratulations, Congratulations to Master Rainy for defeating Gene in a verbal combat, speaking and provoking him in multiple languages in an effort to make him give up, and special congratulations to Guessman, for finishing off Max, who was seen as the world's most evil criminal, so evil that a prisoner named Charles Bronson was too incompetent to fight him, even though Guessman had no idea of what he was doing. Guessman made the news, he made good news, he made himself a hero, he totally detained a guy who was worse than Charles Bronson. I think I can call this the best day of my life, making this kind of heroic achievement. Glad you saved me from the hands of that evil thug, buddy. Proud of you for your heroic achievement. Well, worst of all, Master Vengeance is starting up his channel, and he's going to talk shit about all of us. Well, we'll worry about that later on, but right now, we can focus on our award. So here I am in a new character and background setting, but I gotta say, fighting off these five villains was a huge beast. But at least I achieved defeating them along with Madman and Gasman. I want to say, the creator of the Mass Rainy channel will have an announcement to make as soon as I conclude my video. Hey Master Rainy, I've had a discovery with what the Project Commission has found out, the truth, this what I'll talk about should make you not regret doing your, paradox crimes, in the past. What I'm going to explain will explain why these four guys deserve to have their lives ruined. Alright, roll it. You see? Timothy totally deserved to have his job lost because of your shenanigan because he would constantly walk into work with excruciating body odor, 
making many of his co-workers disgusted and some of them nearly vomited because of Timothy's body odor he frequently came to work with, so that was number one. Number two, Derek deserved to have his marriage wrecked by you because Derek turned out to be a complete jerk, showing a lack of care for his finances, completely to the front of his mind, which meant that he didn't care even if he and his wife suffered extreme poverty, so you were the reason why Derek's wife began living a much better life, since she wanted to marry a rich, wealthy man, which truly happened after their abrupt divorce caused by you. Number 3, Gene deserved to lose his business, he originally lost his business a couple years upon opening his store, but ever since you altered the past, Gene lost his business on the very same day he opened his business, in other words, he lost his business quickly, which he clearly deserved due to his store policy strictly mandating that all customers must speak English meaning that the store is strictly meant for speaking English and no other language, so his prejudice behavior brought him to justice. Number 4, Max clearly deserved to be in jail because of his constant threats at his workplace, as discovered by the Project Commission, information has been gathered about Max's work behavior before you altered the past and got him imprisoned. Max threatened every single co-worker because they were getting annoyed by his constant openings about his day every day. So, there should be no regrets doing all these paradoxes, these four were truly villainous and deserved extreme karma. Oh wow, so that's why it was a good thing to alter the past, time traveling through an operating system and getting certain people in trouble, but I gotta say, I should consider myself very lucky in all four of these cases, because altering the past can have very serious consequences. Tell you this, the Project Commission has really excellent prediction skills of paradox consequences, they are advanced at predicting consequences of altering the past and they can actually determine the paradox consequences right off the bat, so no worries, you are truly safe because of the Project Commission's extraordinary skill. Best thing I've heard. What's up guys? This is Master Rainey in real life, so you may refer to me as the real life Rainey. And I'm here with an announcement. So, as part of the Master Rainey channel, as part of the video that you've seen, part of the script said that the stick figure known as Master Vengeance is setting up a channel. Well, there's going to be a new channel that's a part of the Master Rainey series, and it's the channel of the Master Vengeance stick figure link provided in the description, and I don't want you to spread any hate on that channel, because he is Master Rainey's enemy. He's only going to do critique stuff on the Master Rainey character and his friends. So just please be entertained as it's part of the Master Rainey series. <clears throat> so I just want you to enjoy the critique content against the Master Rainey character and his friends on the Master Vengeance channel. As much as you are entertained by the Master Rainey content on the Master Rainey channel, like normal. I just want to make it seem like whatever's happening in the Master Rainey universe is pretty much what's happening in real life. Just want it to seem that way. So, subscribe to the Master Vengeance channel if you wish. I just want you to. Be entertained, as it's all part of the Master Rainey series, it's all fiction, and it's part of the Master Rainey franchise entirely, so. Until then, here's what I gotta conclude. This is the final video of 2022 on the Master Rainey channel, and a new video of the Master Rainey channel coming will be in 2023. So, Master Rainey will see you next year. How about it, people?